Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another brand new video. Today I am talking about the top five, well, my top five After Effects plugins, effects, presets, call them what you will. Let's go ahead and just jump right into this, starting with number five, the Foundries Camera Tracker. Now, the best way that I can explain what this does is just to do a little bit of a demo. And for this, I'm going to use actually the built-in camera tracker in After Effects is called a 3D Camera Tracker. And basically the way that this works is when you put it on a clip, it'll automatically start to analyze it. And what these camera trackers do is try to gather digital information about the scene that the footage you're running through the camera tracker is shot in. I'm gonna go ahead and click Analyze and we'll let this do its thing. And in the meantime, let's uh, take a look at the uh, camera tracker website here. Um, this is actually developed by, um, I guess technically what is a competitor to After Effects, a company called The Foundry. They make a really great visual effects tool called Nuke. Um, it, it's like a node-based visual effects editor. You, you may not understand. The point is, I've been playing around with Nuke recently and I loved it, and one of the cool things about it is they have this really great camera tracker in Nuke by default that's way better than anything you'll find in After Effects, but they actually, quite a long time ago, ported that effect over to After Effects, and I used it back in the day because there was not a camera tracker built into After Effects. This 3D camera tool that's analyzing here in the background, I believe this wasn't added until one of the early versions of Creative Cloud, maybe like CS6. Anyways, the, whole, the reason that camera tracker is still on my list is that I find it's still a lot better than the built-in camera tracker in After Effects, but let me go ahead and now that our footage is done analyzing, by default the 3D camera tracker in After Effects, this is the built-in After Effects one, is just going to track a gazillion different points throughout your scene and you can see if you watch any one of these points, for example take a look at this green one on my sticker here, it's going to stick to whatever point it's tracking and using a couple of different points, say uh, let's just say these three different points here on the uh, trackpad, we can track rotation, we can track scale, we can track movement, we can track all sorts of things to basically add different things into our scene. And so if I do have these three points selected here, I can right click and choose something like create a solid and a camera. And now if we play back our scene a little bit here, we can see this new solid we've created is sticky. It's basically going to stick to the shot. And I, I'm sure if you're thinking about visual effects, you can already see why this kind of match moving process is super handy. You can just stick things into a scene. And you know, of course it doesn't really work so well with just like a solid, but let me see if I can create some dumb kind of thing here real quick. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we have just like this 3D design on top of a shot and it's like this is crazy cool stuff process is called match moving and there's a lot of software that does it but i think that the best plugin for after effects to do this process is the foundry's camera tracker that's why it's number five on the list moving right along a little piece of software called film convert and honestly i would be kind of shocked if you have not heard of this one it is its own app and i get the option to add like real film emulated stock. They actually scan film stock and add this on top of your footage. So we have like Kodak Vision stock, Fuji film stock, we have all sorts of weird vintage stuff. And these are real scans that overlay on top of your footage. But um, the cool thing is they have poured it over this entire app into a Final Cut, I mean, I'm sorry, into an After Effects effect. Number three on the list is Key Light. And I know what you're thinking, this is actually a built-in effect in After Effects. And, and that's true, but uh, I bring it up as its own effect. Uh, you know, one, because this is developed by a different company. It's a part of that same software I mentioned earlier, Nuke. Um, you can get the same effect in Final Cut, I believe in Premiere, uh, probably in Sony Vegas, that type of thing. And I believe that it's a powerful enough tool that it really should be considered on its own ground. Uh, I'll come up to, uh, let's see here, I'll go up to Effect keying and uh, key light and you can see I just have what it would generally speaking be kind of a more complicated process I'm trying to key out a phone screen but let's just uh, watch key light make quick quick work of this I'm going to uh, just sample a color kind of in the middle range here nothing too light nothing too dark something in the middle and let's see I'll hop over to the uh, screen mat and then let's see I'll just do a little bit of work here black and the clip white down go back to the final result and then just drop a, like a white solid underneath here and you can see boom the whole screen keyed out next we have trap code particular let me just uh, create a new solid here and we'll go to effect trap code in particular, this is kind of similar to, to Camera Tracker. It's gonna take an, something that's already built into After Effects 
and just expand it to uh, incredible reaches. But comparing the two is just not even a fair thing to do. This is, uh, I mean, I know I have this like only as number two on the list, but when I download After Effects on a new machine, literally almost always the first thing I'm doing is trying to find like where's my where I put my license info for for trap code for particular so that I can use this particle generator. This is the best particle generator, and I, I'm kind of resisting the urge to like really don't jump in here because this is supposed to be just like a tiny section of a larger video. But this is an insane particle generator. You have all sorts of crazy cool controls, all the physics, all the you know particle things you could want. Um, they even added they added this cool thing very recently called the effects builder, and this is just going to let you go crazy adding all sorts of different types of particles different types of shading different uh, you know let's see uh, I believe you can just oh wow you can even like just change up the particle type oh my Wow. Okay, this is pretty cool. Point being, if you need a particle generator, Trap Code Particular is one that is on par with the kind of thing you would, again, find in something like Nuke or even Maya. This is probably an effect that I've been using longer than any of the other ones, with the exception of maybe, like, Key Light. And finally, my favorite, and, and this is a fairly recent one. I mentioned it in a couple of other videos, and I've even used it in this video, is something called FX Console. Let me go ahead and trigger it here. This is an insane, I don't even know if it's fair to call it a plugin. If you like come up to effects, you're not gonna find the FX console effect here. But what this little plugin has done has absolutely changed the way that I interact with After Effects. I can very quickly add all sorts of effects to my projects just by pushing a few buttons on the keyboard. So let me go ahead and do a little bit of a demo here. Let me open up the settings. Uh, let's see, we'll make it light so that it'll kind of stand out and you can see it a little better here. Basically what this plugin does is it acts like spotlight and basically we'll do a search of all the effects installed and give you access to them very, very quickly. So you set a custom um, keyboard shortcut. For me, it's uh, Alt Space. That's not even all that the plugin does. It can also very quickly allow you to export PNG, like screenshots of your projects. Let me go ahead, come out here to the desktop. Look at that, look at that, look at that. A little particle system, I saved that in like two and a half seconds. That's not something I've ever been able to do in After Effects before, but now it's just there. This is an insanely cool app and I, I feel no shame whatsoever, even though it's relatively no, new in putting it as the number one on my list. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to uh, like below uh, or check out any of the other stuff on my channel. That's it for this one. I will uh, see you next time. She was an American beauty, he was in love.